please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hey now, it's your girl Shanita Nicole and welcome to Do Dream More. If you're already a dreamer, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome to Do Dream More. So as you see today, we're going to be doing a budget binder tutorial. I'm trying to figure out what font I want to use. So this is the new fad where we're trying to budget and we're trying to get our money right, right? So now I'm trying to figure out what font I want to use. So what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to show you what I'm going to use. It's um, a binder and inside of the binder, there are these clear envelopes. And if you want to just add a little pizzazz, it's a little bit of um like notes, personal information, some dividers, other things like that. I'll show you that later. But anywho, what I'm doing right now is I'm in Cricut Design Space and I'm trying to see what font I want to use. So I'm playing around with these fonts, trying to figure out which font I want to use. And I don't know about you, but I go by like emotion. So I just, what feels kind of good. Uh, if I see something that gives me a good vibe or good energy, and that's what I'm trying to do. So that's the one. Yep. So I'm playing around with it. And that brush stroke, that's the one I want to use. The other ones are just not in the mood for me. So um, I'm going to use that one. And I'm going to go ahead and fast forward a little bit. So um, we can see now. I love beefcake too. You see, I, I chose that when I was going back and forth. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play around with some of the words with that um brush stroke one and that beefcakes one. You see, I deleted the other ones and I'm just playing around with it. I'm gonna fast forward through a lot of this, but yeah, so this is what I was actually doing. And um, instead of going to text and typing again, I duplicate and then I just change the words so. As I always say in my tutorials, you may find a better way. It's like 500 ways to skin a cat. Isn't that the saying? So this is just the way that I do it. So I was trying to figure out right here which one I wanted to use because I couldn't pick. So I was just playing around and changing the words and trying to figure that out. But I'm going to go ahead and fast forward. So you can use whatever titles you want for the envelopes. These are just the ones I use for this tutorial. So I went to images and I'm going to add images to my words. You do not have to do that, but I'm going to add an image. I'm going to search for a cute little car and I'll search for um, some groceries. I'll search for a uh, little house for like rent or your mortgage you use whichever one you want though they're so cute that's a cute little picture but yeah so that's just what i'm doing now i'm going to images and finding what i want so i decided to get a cute little pink car and um i'm I'm keeping the colors there just so i can see it. and i have it so big just so i can see it what i'm going to do is i measure the little clear envelope things and what I'm going to do is I'm going to resize all of these so that it can fit. So I'm going to resize the words. I'm going to resize the images so they can fit on the little clear envelope thingies. Okay, so I saved you guys and spared you guys me finding all of my images. But as I stated, now I'm going to resize them. The envelopes that I have are approximately five uh, a little bit over five inches and the height is eight inches so I'm trying to make sure that with the car uh, words plus the actual car image I want it to be about six inches so I'm just playing around with these trying to make sure I get the inches right um, and then because it's about five inches tall I want to make sure that um, the images are about like two and a half, three. It just kind of depends. And then when I do the words, some of the words I'm going to have to put on top and bottom, um, because of the way it looks. So those I want it to be about four inches. So I have like half an inch at the top, half an inch at the bottom. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just playing around with the, um, 
the images to make sure that they fit. And I'm not sure if you know or not, but you can unlock the images so that you can make them taller or longer and it won't just be that same box. So if you see, I unlock the images and then sometimes I lock them back. So when I move them around, I won't lose the inches that I want. So, yep. So that's what I'm doing here. And I'm going to just go ahead and fast forward. Okay, so all my words have images and um, I have everything all set. I'm going to actually go ahead and make it in a second. I was just trying to see if I wanted to change a couple of the fonts, but I decided not to change them. I just went and played around with the, um, the lens and the width so they could look nice. So here, I forgot to attach them. So I had to go hide the budget binder tutorial words, and then I wanted to attach. So these are where you want to make sure you're paying attention to the details. So I press make it. It was going to try to make all of that. That's not what I wanted to do. And then here, they think that um, I want it to be black and pink. And I was going to separate them, but I said no. So I went back and I actually attached everything so that I can just print it all together and then when I transfer it it'll all be on the same way so here I was just playing around with it and then I decided not to do it this way so here is where I went back I made everything the same color because when I printed out I wanted to all print together and then I went and I group them and then I attach them so that when I print it out it'll print out attached. You see how I have credit cards, the word at the top and then the cards at the bottom. So and then for groceries the same way. So I wanted to make sure that the words were um legible and then they also weren't like too skinny or too fat. So I played around with a few things. I'm attaching them and then I'm gonna go ahead and click make it. I'm going to, you see how it's all there, so I'm going to play around with it a little bit um, so that we can print it all out together. And yeah, so that's what I'm going to do there. And I actually had, um, which you'll see later, I actually had printed it all out on a 12 by 20 format so that I could just print it all out and then be done with it. Okay, so here's a few things that I'm going to be using. I have the actual binder. It's um, really, really nice. It actually comes in several different colors, but for the tutorial, this is the color that I'm going to be using. It's really nice. It has where you can put your credit cards, where you can put the actual binding sheets in. My, then it has a pocket here, so it's really nice. And then as an add-on, I do have the personal information and the notebooks and has additional um, folders. And then we have the notepad and we have the dividers. So I have a few things, but specifically for this tutorial, this is what we're going to be using. And then I'm going to be using Tech Wrap. This is um, holographic color. So I'm going to be using, I, I think I'm going to use this one. I have this color too, but I think I'm going to be using this one for this project. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm going to use that one. And then also what I did was I put the material on the 12 by 24. So I did do that. And because I'm going to be transferring it, I didn't mirror it. So I have it all on the same sheet. And we're going to go ahead and get to cutting. So these are the materials that I have. And we're going to go ahead and get to cutting. And I'm going to be putting the vinyl on this. I have my transfer tape. Um, and everything as well. So let's go ahead and print this out. We are going to use the settings vinyl and then we're going to do pressure more. We want it to be more so that it can get everything that it needs to get. 
So now the Cricut is doing what the Cricut does. The vinyl is on the mat. It just looks so pretty. That's the only reason why I actually um kept this. So yep, it's doing what it does. So here's inside with the personal information and the notes. Um, you don't have to get this. Some people strictly just want the budget. And then you have the calendars inside of it for your references. Um, I believe it's 212 pages that comes with that. I could be a little bit off. I'll put down if I'm a little off. But this is me measuring it. So you see it's a little bit over five. And then... It's eight, literally like perfect eight. So, yep, that was me measuring it. And then we needed a title. How can I not have a title? We're going to secure the bag. Okay, picked out a cute little girl, some money bags. Um, If you notice where that magnetic strippy is, that money bag, I'll have to move it. But I just cut it out later and you'll see how I did that later. But yep, so that's the title of a secure the bag. You could put your name on it. You could put anything you want on the title. You don't even have to put anything on the front of the if you of the binder if you want. But my title is secure the bags. That's period <laughs> all right here's my transfer tape i got this transfer tape um from amazon so that's where i got that from oh i also got the vinyl from amazon um trying to think what else okay so yep so here we go we about to get to popping okay, so i noticed so that we have the phone is upside down and i was trying to fix that and I didn't really even notice it so I guess it's supposed to be this way we're going to cut the transfer paper make sure it's the right size I'm going to weed this be very careful my weed thing looks a little weird. I wonder if my daughter was messing with it. Because this looks off. And I bet she was messing with it. Yeah, this is off. She had to have been messing with it. So I'll be having a talk with her. Luckily, I have another one. Because, yeah, this make it throwing everything off. So now gonna take the transfer paper off. Make sure you see what I'm doing. Mm -mm. Oh shoot, 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 shoot. I'm gonna be extremely careful with this. You have to be very careful with this. And I just talked to my daughter. And she said she didn't mess with it. She did. It's only me and her here. Nobody else. And then you take this and make sure it sticks. Nobody else is here. How is it crooked when nobody else is here? I have a couple other ones. I have two other ones that I'm going to use. Oh, that's not it. Silly me. I have two other ones, so I'm going to try this one on the next one. But you know how you get used to using what you get used to using? And she, I'm sure she bent it. My daughter is seven. She said she didn't. I don't, I don't believe that. Because I have no idea how so it got. Like, literally, it's in my case. And she was messing with my scissors and a couple other things. But okay. So... Uh oh, this is, what is going on here? Oh, it's already peeling up. Oh, so it's, it's working real good because it's already peeling up. It's like, we supposed to get up? Let's, let's peel up. Okay. So, we have that there. Make sure, I'm making sure the right place inside of when I put it inside of here. You may not be able to see this good, but okay. So we 
we're gonna open it up. I just wanna make sure that we close it this way. I think it'll probably be open it or open it. Trying to see which way my open and close would be. I think it'll be this way. Because it, it depends if it's going to be like at the top or the bottom. So we're going to just put this in here. So I'm so funny. I know everybody, you know, everybody make mistakes and we all figure it out and I'm all for that because we're all human. But if I could try my hardest the first time to not make the mistake, that's what I would prefer, right? I think anybody would probably prefer that. So anyway, I just wanted to make sure I was putting it on the right way. So now we're gonna. Well, I remember I still gotta put that cell phone on, on there. Poor cell phone. I had it on there the wrong way. <sighs> so now. Uh oh. I didn't get it on. Here we go. What a problem. Why is that? Okay, wait a second. These two not sticking. So this is my second time ever using transfer tape. I did with the um, little glass display thing. Oh, that was my first time. And this is my second time. I'm typically a heat transfer vinyl. So I'm trying to spread my wings and fly. Okay. I don't know if this is gonna work, y'all. We may. Ah, okay, okay, okay. There we go. We got to put some. You could do it. Put your back into it. Uh-oh. You got to put some uh, in that thing. All right. So, when we're reading. Okay. So, now. I want to make sure the cell phone can fit. That's why I wanted them to be on here together. Make sure it stay. Remember last time it's going to stay. I'm 
I'm gonna go over really good each letter and hopefully it works. <laughs> Wait, wait, let me show you. It works, y'all. It works. It works, y'all. It works. See? Now, I did hear that sometimes these things have, um, like, bubbles in them. So I gotta be very careful with the the holographic one. I I read the reviews. They said that one has bubbles, but it worked. It's super cute. I'm gonna add the cell phone on there real quick. weed it. I had to use this one because like I said, my daughter said she didn't mess with it, but it's literally no one else here. So and I know how it was the last time I had it. So that doesn't really make too much sense, right? Yeah. It doesn't make sense to me either. But <sighs> I guess My daughter's at a stage where, mm, I don't know, she, like I said, she's seven. So she gets into literally everything. And I guess that's just part of being a kid, you know. So mama got to work on her patience. Because I'm just like, sis, what are you doing? Why are you always into something? Anybody else got any kids that's always into something? Comment below if you got some children that's all that seems to always be into something. If you feel my pain,
forgot to put my little ring vinyl thing going. And this is actually a um, nail polish holder, but you use it for vinyl. So I love it. As you see, it's really, really easy to use. And I got it from Amazon. So here I'm just putting my title on here, my binder. And I had to, and it, it worked. I was excited. <laughs> So I put it on there. It was really, really pretty. Now, I remember I had three money bags. So I have to just go ahead and put that money bag on there as well. I'm going to put it probably near that E in secure. Yep, so there we go. Now we got that third money bag on there. Yep, secure the bag, sis. Yep, there it goes. It's so pretty. I absolutely love it. I'm proud of myself. I really did that. Like, this is my second time ever using just, like, the permanent vinyl. And I did a really good job. I love it. I've never made one of these or anything before. So, I'm really excited, as you can see. And, um, yep, and here's the inside of it. So, yeah. So, that's how you make it. I'm going to add a few things. So, um continue watching because i'm going to add a few things i'm just making sure it's all smooth and laid down and pretty and everything yeah so now i'm going to put in the actual notebook pages so here are the notebook pages and i'm just trying to play around and see if i want to put it, the um envelopes in the back or the notebooks i decided to put the notebooks in the front of it and this is just an add-on I got this from Amazon as well, and I love it. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, I went ahead and put the notebook pages in for the personal information, the notebooks. Um, there's some little dividers in there. So that's the money envelopes. And yeah, I yeah that's basically it here's um uh, my groceries i thought this was so cute so i'm just showing you wrapping it up um if you have any questions if you have any comments anything please make sure you comment please make sure you like it you share it um you subscribe yeah so that's how you make the budget bun um binders I, I i really love it it was really fun these are the dividers I, and here goes the money. Got to put that money in there, right? <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I actually really like this project. It's very different from what I typically do. Um, but it was really fun. Like I said, if you have any questions or anything, if you want me to um, show another tutorial of anything, let me know. I know people were talking about a journal. So, I'm going to do an in-depth journal one. But... Um, yeah, just let me know what you guys are interested in. Thank you so much. If you've been here this long, thank y'all so very much. And now here it go looking all pretty and stiff. Can I be honest? I'm obsessed with this project. I cannot wait to make more. I love it. It was so much fun to make. And I don't know, but I really like it. So I hope you guys like it as well. Yep. There we go. We out of here. Bye. Thank you for your time. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.